Let's look at some polling data here. I think if you, if you, we've had some stories recently via audio sound bites about how angry the drive-bys are at conservative media. Not that we need any late stories to tell us this because it's a common thread. They hate Fox News, they hate talk radio and so forth. But here is tangible evidence for why. It is a Rasmussen Reports poll. It's a national telephone online survey. 50% of likely voters believe that it is somewhat likely that senior federal law enforcement officials broke the law in an effort to prevent Trump from winning the presidency. Not 50% who believe the Steele dossier. 50% 50% of the America, this is why the conservative media is hated, because if it weren't for conservative media, nobody would know this. I attended an annual cigar dinner last night at the Old Palm Golf Club, it was sponsored by my old cigar aficionado buddy, Marvin Shanken. By the way, the, the guest speaker was Lito Gomez of La Flor Dominicana, the double Ligero chisel. One of his cigars was Cigar of the Year, Cigar Aficionado last year. And he's from Spain. And he was, as the invited super guest, he he was the featured speaker. And he told a story of his becoming an American, seeking opportunity, living the dream, working hard, not knowing what to do for much of his life, living under an authoritarian father, finally discovering his calling, and now he's, he's successful beyond his wildest dreams. And what Lito Gomez said last night about America was what anybody who's lived here would have said, and you would have never heard it coming out of the mouth of a Democrat. In fact, I told him when it was over, I said, you better hope word of this doesn't hit social media. You're going to become a racist, bigot, sexist. Social media is going to tear you up for being positive. You're supposed to hate America, Lito. You are from Spain. You are an immigrant. You're supposed to hate this country. And, of course, he doesn't. He loves it, and that uh, was the theme of his talk. And, and I, I was running to people at these events. There's about 250 at these events, 250 people last night. And I, I, I never... I never get one criticism of Trump. I I have yet to have somebody come to me. Well, you got to talk. You got to get the guy to tone it down. You got this is. It, it. I only hear that from establishment types. I only hear that from never Trumpers. But I never hear it from people um, who voted for Trump uh, and remain happy that, that that they did. I just you know, you, you you look at this survey, fifty percent. of likely voters believe it's at least somewhat likely that federal law enforcement officials broke the law in an effort to prevent Trump from winning the presidency. 32% think that's very likely. 40% think that it's not likely. Here's Here's the thing. Without alternative conservative media, this survey could not happen. People who do not listen to conservative media do not know the truth about the memo. They don't know that Hillary Clinton bought bought and paid for it. They don't know who Fusion GPS is. CNN, CBS, ABC, New York Times, Washington Post do not report on any aspect of this. The people that consume news from those outlets have no idea about any of this. And this is why the drive-bys are ticked off. If we didn't exist... If Fox News didn't exist, then Rasmussen could not produce a poll result like this. And if we didn't exist, they may have succeeded in running Trump out of town by now. May have. This is why they're upset with us. This is a stunning result. With everything the Democrats have poured, look at what the drive-by media has been for the last year and a half. Trump cheated. Trump this. Trump that. Trump colluded. Russians are in bed with all of this stuff. And only 40% in this survey think that any of that is likely true. 